stand up tonight? Aww. I know that's the only reason why all of you came. But it's, it's really important uh, we're here for a number of reasons. Firstly, uh, to celebrate the 67th birthday of the National Health Service. Yay! And, it's, and we need to celebrate. We need to celebrate the uh, NHS because unless we recognise the hard work of the, those who work in the National Health Service, as we, unless we recognise uh, that literally uh, people fought, campaigned, argued, debated, won elections to have an NHS, but also fought to keep the NHS, we're in danger of allowing the Tories to leave us uh, with an NHS that none of us recognise. And the, the basic principle is one we've all got to repeat again and again for those who don't understand what it's about. The NHS is free at the point of delivery based on the needs of people rather than how big their wallet is. Yes. And it's a very simple uh, principle. But unfortunately over the last five years, the NHS as we have known it and loved it and have used it, has become very different from the NHS that was originally envisaged and the NHS that it was when we lost the last general election. And the reality is there are A&Es around London either closing down or being threatened with closure. And there's a euphemism. Whenever, whenever the Tories use the word consolidation, or whether they, whenever they use the word downgrading, we know what it means. It's a euphemism for closure, it's a euphemism for services being cut, and it's a euphemism for the private sector taking over the National Health Service. And what's brilliant about the Save Our Hospitals campaign, what's brilliant about the work the SHA are doing, is reminding the public that we believe in people before profits. Yes. We believe in patients before privatisation. We believe in integration of fragmentation. That's why the campaign you've mounted has been so fantastic. We've made sure that people know what's at risk and why the state's so important at election. And I've got to say, one of the wonderful things about coming back here tonight is I was here last year. When I was here last time, the, 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 the local MP was a Tory called Mary McLeod. Yes. And she's now gone! And on a dark, dark night on May the 7th, May the 8th, there were very few silver linings. And one of the silver linings was Labour gain Ruth Cadbury. Yay! And Brett from Nisworth was won back because of the hard work of many of you here today, and I say thank you. There was other good news around uh, London on that uh, night. We also heard that the Conservative MP in the nearby seat for Ealing Central Lacton, Angie Bray, lost her seat. Yay! And we had also on the night those great words, uh, Labour Gay, New Labour MP, Rupert Hunt! Uh, and it's worth reminding ourselves that because of the hard work we all put in, last May 2014, David Cameron's favourite borough, the <laughs> apple of Eric Pickle's eye, Hammersmith and Fulham went Labour! And later on, later on, when you've uh, had a bit to drink, when you've heard, when you've heard, when you've heard some brilliant comedians, one of my best friends, one of the best MPs London's ever had, will be speaking. Mr. Andy Slaw is in the house. What's What's really important? You do, you do love your Andys, don't you? So, uh, I agree. I agree. I agree. Now, what's really important is this, look, our spirits are obviously down me because of the results of May the 7th. It's very easy to use tonight as a wake, uh, to be depressed and to wallow in self pity. Uh, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that because what we need to do is understand that it's our responsibility because of the values we have to be an integral part of the fight back. We need to fight back. Are we going to fight back? Yes! We have to! And we have to fight back. And so we've got to, we've got to recognise, look, if we don't campaign and argue for the A &E to stay open, they'll close down. Yes. If we don't campaign and argue for maternity services not to leave hospitals, they're going to leave. If we don't remind people what's at stake, they will get involved in mainstream politics. And there's a lot at stake. There's a lot at stake. And we've got a choice. We can either have self-pity or we can fight back. And the first chance to fight back is the elections next May in London. There are big, big elections next May in London. We've had for the last seven years 
uh, a guy called Boris Johnson being a No, no, no. Uh, what we've seen in the last seven years is rather than the mayor looking after the health of Londoners, arguing for public health, working with campaigners to keep our hospitals open, he's been silent and actually helped the government close down our uh, uh, A&E's and hospitals. There are, there, are, there, are, there are eight A&E's around London closing down. There would have been nine but for the Lewisham campaign. And we've got a choice next moment. We've got a choice to elect a mayor who's going to be by your side, shoulder to shoulder, fighting with you. That's the sort of mayor that I want in London. That's the reasons why I'm starting to be the mayor of this fantastic city. And we've got a choice. We've got a choice. We've got a back a mayor, back a candidate, who's going to fight to keep the NHS going, who's going to fight for people before profit, who's going to fight for patients before prioritisation, who's going to fight for integration rather than fragmentation, or who's going to be silent. And one of the reasons why I put myself forward to be the candidate for Mayor of London, this is a great city. This is a wonderful city. The fact that this city uh, has 8.5 million Londoners and the population is going up is rather than closing down Hades, rather than thinking of how we close down services, we should be thinking of how we improve them, how we expand them, how we bring communities together, how we have better public health, how we make sure Londoners can have tomorrow's jobs. And that's why I'm going to be a living wage mayor. I want to make sure if you do a decent day's work, you get a decent pay. I'm going to make sure we build more affordable homes. We need social rent homes, we need much more council homes being built in London, which has been going, not been happening for a while. I'm going to be a mayor to make sure we have a city which is a city where there is a living rent, a London living rent. For people like nurses, porters, uh, people who work in theatre, have homes they can afford as well. And we're going to make sure we've got a public transport system in London that people can afford. That's what I'm going to do. I've committed to make sure Every development in London has at least half homes built that are affordable. The return of councils' homes in London will happen under me. I want to make sure we have public transport that's frozen. Fares will be frozen for four years on tubes, DNR, and underground, and we're going to cut fares on the buses. I want to make sure we have segregated pathways for cyclists. Yay! And we're going to look at banning lorries during rush hours as well. It's a disgrace that you've got rush, during rush hour lorries going through uh, London. Lorries should be. They should we're gonna, we're, we're gonna, we're, and we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that with the various side. So. And we've got, we got a choice now. I'll, I'll, end, I'll, end, I'll end with this. We've got a choice. We can either allow uh, the media and those who don't want a progressive, radical mayor to allow the same as usual, business as usual, where a mayor is standing by while Londoners are let down. Or we can have a mayor arguing for Londoners, fighting for Londoners, making sure we get a good deal for Londoners. And that's the sort of mayor I'm gonna be. But I need your support. What about I need your support. Our homeless. I'll do with your homeless. What we'll do is, if you look at the last, last year alone, the last year alone, the number of homeless people who've gone up is by 37%. Oh, no, it's it's an absolute disgrace that those who are homeless have gone up by 37%. When I was growing up, we used to have Cardboard City in the centre of London. Around Waterloo, we saw people struggling in Cardboard City. With, uh, it's a scandal. And you know what's happening? It's returning. Yes. For yes. the last few years, it's returning. Now, we can sit by and let it get worse, or we can fight to make sure we end homelessness. That's the scandal. So, we've got a choice. We can sit by and let Labour select the candidate and it's going to be business as usual, or we can get involved in the campaign. As Joss has said, the campaign to select Labour's mayor has begun. You can take part either as a member or by becoming a registered supporter. The Socialist Health Association has nominated me to be their candidate. And I'm going to fight for what the SHA believes in. I'm going to fight for what Save Our Hospitals believe in. I'm going to fight for the NHS. I'm a fighter, but it's fighting with a purpose. And you know what? You win fights when you've got campaigners by your side. I want to be with you in the trenches. I want to be with you in the demonstrations. I want to be with you when we lobby. I want to be with you when we win. And I want to be with, with you when we when may, may lose the battle, but we dust ourselves down, dust ourselves down to win the war. So. Are you ready for a fight? Yes! Are you going to be by my side? Yes! Can we win this fight? Yes! Can we win this fight? Yes! Together we can't. Thank you very much.